for the absolute fastest, cheapest, and most reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins on the market, head on over to my sponsor, EasyMutt.com, and don't forget to use code Juju to save you 5% off at checkout. The link will be in the description. Yo, yo, what's good, boys, and welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. Today, we got a lineup update for the Green Bay Packers theme team. It's been a few weeks since we did one of these, and we've actually gotten a lot of upgrades since, so I thought it was only right to do a full in-depth video breaking down the team so we're going to take a look at all the new players stats and check out my chemistries and the abilities that i'm rocking but before we do that if you are new to the channel i would greatly appreciate it if you could smack that sub button for me also drop a like on the video hit me down below in that comment section and turn on the post notice to get notified every time i post a new video but getting right into the team here starting off a quarterback we got brett Favre, who in my opinion is still the best qb in the game just solely based off that release and his archetype too obviously then backing him up we got aaron Rodgers who I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to see a single comment down below. I'm serious, bro. Don't say it. Then for the running backs here, we got Aaron Jones, AJ Dillon, and then Barry Sanders. This Aaron Jones card I absolutely love, but I do really hope we get some kind of a backup running back soon because I don't like using Barry Sanders. So, I mean, if it's like an AJ Dillon upgrade, a Mon Green, just something. Next up here, we got the wide receivers. EA has been showing us so much love lately with the receivers. Like, all year long, our receivers were just like average, but I mean, now look at us. We got a 99 Lazard, 99 Tay, 99 Mark Clay, 99 Sterling Sharp, and a 98 Randall Cobb. Thank you, EA. Real talk though, we might have the best wide receivers out of any theme team. Like, let me know down below if you think there's a team that is better than this, but three gold 99s and a chemmed up 99. Four 99 receivers, that's absolutely insane. Then for the old line here, looking really, really nice as well. We got David Bakhtiari, Elton Jenkins, Corey Lindsley, Jari Evans, and then Brian Bulaga. Then rounding out the offense here, we got the tight ends, who honestly, I take that back. The tight ends might be our best positions. We got three 99s, which are Michael Finley, Jimmy Graham, and Jared Cook. Then we also got this Robert Tunyon here, who's like a 98, I think, at tight end. So, I mean, yeah, four great tight ends. Definitely nothing to complain about. The first card we're going to take a look at here is this Brett Favre. Like I said earlier, I think is still the best QB in the game just because of that release. It's so glitch. You're going to get so many passes off that you wouldn't with other QBs. For his stats, though, here he's got 86 speed, 99 throw power, 97 short, 99 mid, 97 deep, 98 under pressure, 99 on the run, and a 99 play action. Next up here, we got Alan Lazard, the Lizard King. Absolutely love this card for starters he's six foot five so i mean obviously crazy height on him then the numbers are insane as well 99 speed 99 catch 98 catch in traffic 97 spec 99 short 99 mid and a 99 deep like it really doesn't get much better than that then we got Devontae adams here the best wide receiver in the nfl diop dick rogers don't come for me in them comments so he's got 99 speed 99 jump 99 catch 99 catch in traffic 97 spec 99 short 99 mid and a 96 deep i mean it's Devontae adams bro absolutely love this card my favorite wide receiver in the NFL and in the game. Then we also got this Sterling Sharp who's got 99 speed, 99 catch, 98 catch in traffic, 96 spec, 99 short, 99 mid, and a 95 deep. Like our receivers are just so stacked. Then last up on offense here, we got this Aaron Jones. He's got 99 speed, 99 excel, 96 agility, 99 carry, 81 catch, 97 change of direction, 89 truck, and a 94 break tackle. He's 5'9", so he's super short. I've said this for a while, like I absolutely love Aaron Jones cards. They just play so glitchy for me like he's so tiny and i don't know what he like i don't know what it is about him he breaks a bunch of tackles like the card just plays amazing so yeah overall here i absolutely love this offense i mean there's just no weaknesses we got a great qb great running back great receivers great o-line and great tight ends like it really does not get much better than this for a theme team getting into the chemistries here then we got 51 out of 50 play fake that's going to be on all the tight ends wide receivers quarterbacks and then aaron jones which i just have it on him to boost up that catching then uh we got zone run here 20 out of 25 that's gonna be on all the o-line except for brian bulaga and then the two backup running backs then we got sprinter 46 out of 40 it's gonna be on all the skill positions on offense and defense then we got brawler 20 out of 25 which is gonna be on all the o-line and d-line then for our abilities here on offense so sterling sharp has mid and elite Devonta adams has short and elite and double me alan lazard has mid and elite and double me mark clayton has short and elite brett Favre has oma inside dead eye gunslinger and then hot route master uh cory lindsley here has identifier david bakhtiari has edge 
protector and then brian bulaga also has edge protector then moving over to the defense here the defense is looking really really good so starting off the safeties we got micah hyde darnell savage adrian amos and then leroy butler so four really nice safeties and for our linebackers here we got sedarius smith who we just got he's gonna be backed up by mod brooks and we got ted hendricks out of position a middle linebacker blake martinez and then preston smith then for our cornerbacks here we got this new eric stokes draft card this card is looking really really good an absolute budget piece we'll show his stats in a second then we got josh jackson casey hayward jair alexander and then charles woodson then down on the d-line here we got julius peppers mike pennell kenny clark and then reggie white the first card we're going to take a look at here is this new ltd zadaria smith now it did also get confirmed that he's getting a golden ticket so this card is not going to last too long on the team honestly really don't know why they even gave him an ltd because i already knew he was getting a golden ticket like that's just a complete waste of coins but you know it is what it is so his stats here he's got 96 speed 99 excel 91 strength 99 tackle 99 play rack 99 black shed 99 power move and a 93 finesse so i mean really nice card but you know still that's just such a waste of coins like why not just wait for the golden ticket then next up here we got our first round pick eric stokes i honestly really really like this dude i think he's got a bunch of raw potential now the night of the draft i was a little bit upset because i wanted rashad bateman so bad but you know honestly i do not hate the pick at all he is super fast he ran like a 425 he's got a lot of potential and i mean who knows learning under jire like the dude could end up being really really good but then checking out the stats on his card here he's got 99 speed 99 excel 96 agility 97 jump 98 play rec 98 man 99 zone and a 98 press honestly like this might be the best cornerback on the packers theme team the numbers on him are looking really good and he's 6-1 so i mean he's got size i really really like this card then we also got this kenny clark with the draft promo he's got 81 speed 93 excel 99 strength 99 tackle 99 play rec 99 black shed 98 power move and an 80 finesse so i mean he's super slow the finesse isn't good but the rest of the numbers on him are looking great then i guess we'll take a look at this micah hyde because i feel like i haven't shown his card in a while he's got 99 speed 99 excel 99 tackled 99 play rec 97 pursuit 99 man 99 zone and a 71 hit power so i mean he's not hit sticking a dead ladybug but besides that this card is amazing then we got darnell savage one of my favorite players on the packers absolutely love this dude he's got 99 speed 99 excel 91 tackle 95 play rec 93 pursuit 95 man 99 zone and a 94 hit power then for the chemistries here on defense we got 50 out of 50 lockdown which is going to be on all the safeties cornerbacks and then all the linebackers except for Zadarius Smith. Then we got 31 out of 35 run stuff, which is going to be on Zadarius and then the whole entire D line. For the abilities here on defense, so Zadarius Smith has edge threat, Micah Hyde has deep out zone KO, Eric Stokes and Jair both have acrobat, Casey Edward has mid zone KO, Adrian Amos has mid zone KO, Darnell Savage has deep out zone KO, and then Leroy Butler has mid zone KO. So I mean, yeah, overall though, I really, really love this defense. The only thing I'm really hoping for would be like a Julius Peppers upgrade, maybe a Ted Hendricks and then a Charles Wood in but besides that i mean just like the offense there's really no weak spots then for the special teams here we got a 92 overall jk scott and then a 97 mason crosby like honestly for a theme team that's great the specialists here you can just pause it if you want it's just really set up for where i want my players to be lined up on the field and then team strategy is where we got matt lafleur the packers stadium and then the jerseys then for my playbooks here we got base four six defense and then cardinals offense but yeah boys that is going to do it for the video though i know it wasn't the most exciting no gameplay or anything but as you guys can see we are still in the hotel which is making gameplay super super tough like the wi-fi is absolutely horrible here and on top of that i just been crazy busy obviously being back in my hometown like visiting a bunch of friends i haven't seen in a while and just i've had a lot of stuff on my plate so i hope you guys understand but we should be into our new house soon and i'll be able to get back to daily gameplays but yeah though i hope you still did enjoy and if you did don't forget to hit that like button drop a sub leave a comment down below and turn them post noties on but that is gonna do it i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace out